that we don't need a Medicare for All system knowing that over 80 million of our sisters and brothers are either uninsured or underinsured. Something is wrong with that. <laughs> Medicare for All is about life. <laughs> Medicare for All is about liberty. Yeah. Because once we have it, your service is free at the point of service. And you don't have to worry about whether or not your health care is tied to a job that you may or may not have tomorrow. Medicare for all is about life, it's about liberty, and it is about the pursuit of happiness. Yes. We don't have Medicare for all. And Sister Brown, I want you to follow me because either you are for the people or you are not. You can't be in the middle. Either you are for the people or you are not. Either you believe that the levers of power should be moved in this country to lift the people of this country, or you don't. Either you believe that you gotta make book with your owners, I'm sorry, your donors. <laughs>
democracy, get young people, working people, people of color involved in the political process. Now the issue we are talking about today is really not a complicated issue. It surrounds, I think, two fundamental questions, and that is do we believe that health care is a human right? Yes. Are we satisfied with a system that says to over 80 million Americans that they may not be able to get to a doctor when they need? satisfied with a system in which 30,000 people every single year die because they don't get to a doctor when they need no. Are we satisfied with a system where working class people are forced to spend a very significant percentage of their limited incomes on housing? Are we satisfied that we are the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to every man, woman, and child? Yeah. Are we satisfied that we end up spending almost twice as much per person on health care as do the people of any other nation? Are we satisfied that we pay by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs? Yeah. Are we satisfied that we have a health care system which is not designed to provide quality care to all of us, but to make tens of billions in profits for the drug companies and the insurance companies? Yeah. So that is what this fight is about. It is not complicated. What this fight is about is to do what every other major country on earth does. What this fight is about is to say that if you get sick, or you get sick, or you get sick, you don't have to worry about whether you can afford to go to the doctor. You're sick, you go to the doctor. What this fight is about is if, God forbid, somebody here or somebody's family member ends up in the hospital with cancer or heart disease, you don't have to worry that your family is going to end up bankrupt or in a financial disaster because you can't pay the $100,000 bill that came from the hospital. That's what this fight is about. You know, when we talk about the struggle the human rights in America. We think back, and we think back about the struggle for workers' rights and the formation of trade unions, and workers by the millions standing up and demanding dignity on the job. We talk about the struggle for women's rights. 100 years ago today, women in America did not have the right to vote. They didn't have the right to go out and do the jobs they wanted, get the education they wanted. They stood up and they fought back. And they said, you know, women will not be second-class citizens. And we talk... 